Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka with the WBZ News Update. A 15-year-old has been charged with assault after a stabbing at a school in Fitchburg. Police were called to the Goodrich Academy just before 2 yesterday. They say a student stabbed another in what appears to be a targeted attack. The victim thankfully expected to be okay. Fitchburg school superintendent says there will be increased police presence at the school for the rest of the week. Counseling will also be available. A Haverhill school committee member accused of indecent assault on a teenager outside a convenience store. WBZ was first to report the charge against Cheryl Ferguson, who the teen says touched him inappropriately twice Tuesday night while he was wearing a Halloween costume. And because the charge involves a minor, the Haverhill mayor says Ferguson's school access will be restricted. According to court documents, Ferguson was previously charged with driving under the influence, as well as assault and battery in a domestic dispute. And the state trooper arrested on drunk driving charges has resigned and was dishonorably discharged from the force. James Doran was arrested weeks after his graduation from the academy. Police say he was under the influence when he crashed into another car in Tewksbury Sunday night. He was off duty at the time. Time now for a check of your next weather Halloween forecast with meteorologist Jason Michael. A bit of a treat for you there, Chris. We're expecting temperatures around 80 degrees today. Average daytime high in late June was actually 80 degrees, so it definitely feels like we're going in reverse seasons back to early summer. Next few days will still like to be fairly warm, at least for our Friday, around the upper 70s yet again. 50s return for us on Saturday into the weekend because of a frontal boundary developing for our Friday here. Air quality issues to start for our Thursday, but windy conditions will help to sort of mix out a lot of the pollutants in the air, especially from the brush fires we've been talking about this first half of the week. Overnight tonight, winds going to be gusting 30 to 40 mile per hour gusts through early tomorrow morning through midday and even into early afternoon. Again, all of this is due to that strong frontal boundary moving through. We have a couple rain chances going to be extremely minimal between Friday morning into the early afternoon. Dry for Saturday and Sunday. Another return chance of some rain arriving for us. Few showers expected on labor. Oh, excuse me, election day Tuesday. Mid 60s become upper 60s to low 70s by midweek before we're drying out again, Chris. All right, thanks, Jason. This has been a WBZ News Update. I'm Chris Tanaka. Have a great day.